Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's time for the season previews. Women's soccer is back, and we're joined by the head coach, Johnny Clooney. And Johnny, finally, no more interim. You're the head honcho. You're in charge of practices now. What's the feeling like? Um, everything has been great. It's been calm. Um, it's good. Just really been focusing on connecting our returning players with um, even our sophomores who were freshmen who lost out a year in 2020, um, and then with our new incoming players so just trying to connect um everybody all at one speed and just get going and it should be noted that both john jay soccer programs are still the defending cuniac champs and i'm curious with training camp when those sophomores and freshmen at the time won the championship i'm sure they were thinking well this can be three years in a row or start to build on a dynasty then the pandemic comes in I'm curious, how much more hungrier are they now after having a year off? And what's the mood been like in practice? Um, I think even over the pandemic, we we stuck we stuck close together as a team, um, and really, I've been bringing in more of my my own personal philosophy as far as the players um, continuing that family style atmosphere. So they're eager and hungry to get back out there, and um, they know the foundation of. Of what's been set before them um, even with that first conference championship back in 2019 and their goal is they want to return back there now i'd be remiss if i didn't bring up um, your predecessor casey summers leading them to mm -hmm. that championship and you were an assistant under her what are some things that you learned from her about being the head coach and what what aspects of your style do you want to incorporate to the team um so i've definitely Big up Casey, you know, I definitely learned a lot from her um, and being a, a student and her being sort of a mentor to me and, and not only a friend, but I've always picking away, asking a lot of questions from recruiting um, to playing style, to technical sessions and so forth. So I always thank her um, for the opportunity and give me the opportunity to lead certain things as far as scheduling, um, even as a recruiting coordinator for the past few years. So she definitely helped. All right, now let's get into specifics. We'll start with your captains. You recently named Katie Healy and Cynthia Madrid as your two captains. What do they bring on the pitch and what do they bring to the locker room? Um, I think they definitely bring um, that experience, first and foremost, of, first and foremost of being um, the longest standing players that we've had since, <laughs> since that break um, in the pandemic. And, um, you know, if anyone knows Cynthia, she, she just goes to work without with a smile on her face um she's there i think a lot for the players which you don't see you know um she's a great personality she may not be the most outspoken outspoken person at times but um she's definitely locked in tuned in does everything that she needs katie healy to do for athlete um she definitely brings that fire and that competition with her at every moment even sometimes when we're off the field you know what i mean sometimes she doesn't even take a break at times but um we feel those are the best two choices for us to help to help lead this new direction coming back um, in 2021. And not saying some of our other returners don't have those leadership qualities um, as well. So um, it just gives them an opportunity to help to help lead us in a, a positive direction. And a few of those returners too can pack a powerful punch. I'm not going to name all of them, but just a few to say the least: Jillian Golden, Kim Robledo, Yamari Cordero. The list goes on and on. What about those three players and the players that I didn't mention? Do you really, uh, what are you looking forward to this year and what are the expectations for them? Um, I think for the returners, I think it's just helping to guide the new players um, just in, in our style of like every day of what it is to be a women's soccer player here. Um, getting accustomed to the school, John Jay back on campus, all those different things, the ins and outs, the little quirks and the great qualities that John Jay has, I think. They're great at helping the team wet, adjusting. They're also great because they play in all different thirds and halves of, of the field um, with us from defense to the midfield to attack. So they can help lead that experience with the players there in each of those positions. Um, and before you know, I think the players sort of look up to them um, in that sense of where this is what we need to do, this is the expectation and so forth. All right, well, Johnny. You got your first match right around the corner, September 1st at Pratt in Brooklyn. I'm sure you're pretty excited for it. Thank you for taking the time and always a pleasure, my man. Thank you, John. Great to see you.